Hi, everyone, again. So now I'm back. We're with the last card that we've been working on and looking at and talking about this week. This one is number 25, Manifestation, and it's from The Secret Language of Light by Denise Jarvey. And these four cards together, along with um, Michael and Isis, they really are beautiful guideposts for us. So let's talk about this one. It says manifestation. You will attract what you give focus to. That makes sense, doesn't it? You are about to experience something you have longed for. You may not see any evidence yet, but don't be disheartened. Instead, be still and align with your soul. Soon you will be inspired to take a step forward where you will meet your dreams and desires. Fall in love with the unknown and the path of the known will materialize. You create your life through how you feel and what you think. When you change your beliefs, your life changes to match it. First, you must be aware of how you feel in the present. Practice focusing on what makes your heart sing, not shrink. The time just before manifestation is an opportunity to change any story from your past, present, or future. Your perception is altering, so you can see a new light. Everything is created twice. Firstly, in the vibrational realm, perceived as imagination, feeling, or dreaming, and then in the physical world, as actual manifested objects. In the, enjoy the journey to all you are manifesting, and your desires will arrive sooner. This is the nature of creation. So it's like be a deliberate creator. And here's some different inspired reflections and actions to help you with that. You can let all manifestations be what they are, and focus on the ones you are drawn to. This is a vibrational match to something active in your beliefs and ideas. You can also tune in to what makes you feel authentic. Take notice of the vibe and replicate it as much as you can each day. When you find the beauty in your current space, your energy will rise in harmony. Also, you can train yourself to know and believe in the law of attraction. Each day for a week, set an intention to see something in co- in co- I can't say this word and I could earlier. Inconsequential. Sorry. Like a feather, a rainbow, or even water. When you have no attachment to the outcome, you hold no resistance and it will manifest. It is the same principle to manifest something small or something big. So it's all up to you. So I hope you've enjoyed these cards this week and spend time. Each one I've done separately so you can reflect on each one, each step that you might be in. Let it help you individually and share. Share these with your friends or with people you think might enjoy them. So much love. Take care. Talk to you all soon.